to be an observed at night So if you see me, you deserve to die You don't want to mess with the Enderman No, 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 no Okay, so I don't know why anyone would come to me and ask for character ideas because I can barely think of them myself but uh, here we are er, I am working on this video well, well technically it's done now so and anyway that's besides the point the point is character designs Ooh. interesting okay so first off before we get into like figuring out like designs for some characters and stuff. I want to like establish some basic rules that you've probably learned in your art classes and stuff or that you've picked up if you like watch other people do tutorials and stuff. Depending on the character that you want, like depending on if they're a good guy, if they're a bad guy, if they're a good guy that turns into a bad guy, if they're vice versa anything really there are some pretty common things you may or may not know number one color color is actually like very very important kind of not as important as like the character's personality but it still plays a key factor into the character colors can tell the mood of the character <clears throat> They can also tell if the character is good or bad. If you see the examples I provided, you can see how happiness is usually portrayed with bright colors like yellow, sadness is usually with blue, anger is usually with red, and disgust is usually with green. And good and bad are usually light colors like the color white and yellow and light blue and stuff, while bad characters are usually like blacks and grays and reds and things like that another important thing is shapes and forms basically why this is important is most villains usually have more pointy kind of features while heroes are usually more rounded out or softer kind of shapes <clears throat> My favorite example for things like this are the characters from Inside Out. Let's just take a look at their shapes and colors. Happiness is usually bright colors like I said, yellows and blues and things like that. While Disgust is usually like greens and browns and maybe a little bit of like some kind of yellow. Sadness is usually blue and anger is usually red, while fear can be purple or white. Now, if we look at the shapes of them, excuse my terrible drawings for stars, but joy is in the shape of a star because um, I guess that stars are like, I don't know, an energetic kind of shape, I don't know. Sadness is in the shape of a tear. That's kind of obvious. I mean, they're sad, and tears mean sadness usually. While disgust is in the shape of broccoli. My personal opinion, I like broccoli, but broccoli is stereotyped as being a vegetable that all kids hate. <clears throat> Anger kind of looks like a brick. And I guess that means like you're gonna throw a brick at someone because you're mad. <laughs> Well, fear is like a nerve cell, because, you know, fear is in the nerves. I cannot explain stuff. But anyway, their designs and their colors fit what the characters are supposed to be like. Continue on this topic with heroes and villains, those are usually the two main things. There's either a good guy, or there's either a bad guy. You did there's like two main sides that you can pick from. Like I said before, heroes are, heroes are usually more bright colors, like the ones I've provided, and they're usually more organic shapes, like the other shapes that I've provided, while villains are usually the darker colors with the geometric and stiff shapes. And 
I'm just throwing this out here. You don't have to use like, oh, all villains are like wearing black colored clothing and they're all pointy, like they have pointy fingers and noses and stuff. You don't have to do that. You can make your villains like brightly colored characters. There are plenty of examples provided with that that I did not put in here, which I should have, but I didn't. I might do it if I ever make another video. I don't know. But I'm going to throw out two of my characters for examples, Stickman and Mr. Vex. I mean, I guess I could have done Stick Devil, but technically in my universe he is a good guy, so... That's a one prime example of what I'm talking about. <clears throat> if you notice the shapes that I've done for him, like the mouth is more pointed and stuff, while his mouth is more of like a smoother, kind of rounder shape. And obviously the horns are going to be more pointed. If I added horns to him, they would be kind of like rounded off. Like, that's not what I'm talking about. Hold on. Kind of like that. It looks more like an ear, but whatever. <clears throat> and their colors. Notice how he's more of a darker color while he's more of a light blue kind of color. That's another thing I could have done. My character is the exact same color as this right here. But yet I'm... A, technically a good character putting that in quotation marks I mean if we're going with the good and bad my cousin explained it in a good way technically from the eyes of the bad guy the good guy is the bad guy and the eyes of the good guy the other guy is the bad you, you, it's you I think you know what I'm trying to say but anyway character designs are important but so is their personality. You see, if you just have like this really good and awesome looking character design and you don't write a good personality for him, it just doesn't really work. You gotta have a good personality, you gotta have a good story, <clears throat> things like that. You gotta have all of that. And I'm just gonna throw out like another example for like the personality for a main villain and vice versa for a hero. So. Basically, we all know the typical, stereotypical villain that you'll see in, like, all cartoons. They always, like, wear dark-colored clothing. They always have evil plans. They probably maniacally laugh a lot. They probably like some kind of violence. And a lot of them look emo. But the hero is opposite of that. You basically just take everything I just said. They wear brightly colored clothing. They don't have evil plans. They want to save everyone. They probably don't... My now, my now, I cannot say that word for the life of me. They probably don't laugh evilly. They probably laugh in like good nature. And they probably don't like violence. Unless, of course, they absolutely have to result to it. And they probably don't look emo. <laughs> or maybe they do. I don't know. But, <clears throat> there's a lot more stuff to talk about, especially with the colors and stuff. There's a lot of, like, kind of psychology stuff that goes behind it. And I, I don't know, I might make a separate video on that, because I like to talk about stuff like that. I really like psychology kind of stuff, so I might just start doing some videos on that. Um, but, basically, if you just take all of these elements, and you just think of, like, a theme like for me right now I'm trying to work on casino themed characters for the casino <laughs> you, wow who would have thought that they were for a casino <laughs> but anyway basically just think of like a theme if you're gonna do th like themes like I am I feel like that's just easier if you think up a theme and then just start making characters you can use them for other things, you don't have to use it specifically for that, like Roulette Randy and stuff like that, it's not always the casino, he's another character that you might see. I'm actually working on writing like a book, I was gonna do an animated version of it, but then I was like, nah, that takes too much work, I'm just gonna write it instead. <laughs> so I will probably be posting that onto my Wattpad, or however you say its name, I don't know. Whatever. Anyway. What was I talking about? Oh yeah, that's right. Combining all these elements together, you can just pick like a theme like, um, I don't know, forest characters. Think of like 
forest bandits or uh, if you want to be not like you, you know like typical like elves in the forest or something if you don't want to do something like that you can think up of their characters I mean it might seem like everything is taken but trust me I'm sure you can think of something there's there's always something that hasn't been invented yet you just got to think long and hard about it so just like I don't know the best way I can say is if you want me to give you a theme I can give you a theme and then you can take all these elements that I have provided you and try and do it and the whole shape and form thing for me is kind of funny because I uh, I mean all of my characters heads are circles so there really is like no shape to put in them except for like their mouths and their hands and maybe some horns you know but I don't know that's just because I'm bad at drawing I mean I'm not saying you have to be good at drawing to like have these stuff I don't know. I'm probably gonna touch back on this stuff in uh, another video, um, and it'll probably go in more depth. I might just like separate them into like different categories, like talking about how color is important, how shape and stuff's important. And my voice is dying on me a little bit throughout this video. <clears throat> anyway, so before this gets completely long, which it probably already is, and I apologize for that, I'm just rambling on here at the end. Um, I'm gonna end it now, and I may or may not, there is no promise on this, do not expect one, but if you do see one, then you can cheer, I guess, I don't know, do whatever you want to. Anyway, I will see you next time.